Femme covert, a married woman. Femme so, an unmarried woman, whether spinster, widow or divorcee. Oh, hi, I'm Stella and welcome to my channel, Teddy Books, where I talk about Australian writers and Australian books to inspire you to run out and buy or borrow an Australian book and support our writers. Just busting me reading Macquarie, Concise Dictionary of modern law and this is how modern it was that uh, women are described in either married or unmarried and there's nothing about the fellas so what have i got for you today three very different books from my recent reads now i have chosen to talk about these books uh, together to kind of highlight really different ways of storytelling so I've got a uh, non-fiction fiction and a book of uh, poetry in verse a novel in verse now first book is that I'm going to talk about is a black and blue a memoir of racism and resilience by Veronica Gori fantastic book so it's a memoir and Veronica is an Aboriginal woman who becomes a police officer but that takes part in the second half of the book in the first half of the book my god what a woman what a woman of resilience and what a, a, a an amazingly brave woman because she talks about her upbringing which was quite um in turns loving and in other ways traumatic and brutalized like she witnessed violence she was also subject to, you know she was still a child she was subject to a pretty violent uh, uh, sexual assault which was you know quite terrifying and then in the second half of the book she you know there's a lot also uh, lots of domestic violence um, and in the second half of the book then she goes to join the police and you sort of think oh great you know her troubles are over but in essence it just carries on because the incidences of the violence that she's exposed to and racism and then she is put in a position where you know people say to her well you can educate people it'll be an opportunity for to educate um, but as she rightly explains, it's why is it beholden to Aboriginal people to educate people about racism, especially in the police force. So she's ostracised for being a woman and also for being an Aboriginal woman as well. And she sounded like she was a great cop in novel. But I want to talk about the storytelling. What I loved about this book is that... It's, it's there's something very it's very authentic storytelling you know that it's her voice and it's a beautiful way of writing because she is sitting down and she is talking and the way she tells these stories like you know it could be anything from the way that she moves state to the abuse that she suffered like these bombshells are just dropped and in and, and it can kind of take you aback but this highlights her resilience and that you know she says everybody has a story to tell and she doesn't feel like that her story is any more special than anyone else's which what makes this beautifully unique I loved it I thought it was fantastic and this was a review copy from scribe and that's black and blue a memoir of racism and resilience by Veronica Gori now the other book that I uh, recently read it's not a new release it came out 2018 it is the art of taxidermy and this is a story about grief and it's about a young girl's obsession almost with death and uh, how finding dead animals and practicing taxidermy sort of obviously she is experiencing grief and it helps her to kind of come to terms with grief it is absolutely beautiful it is written in verse what i also loved about this book you know it's there's 
there's no kind of villains like there she does have an aunt who is very concerned about her well-being and you could see that she is kind of her antagonist but within that that you know that the aunt you know has 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 her welfare at heart and this is a grieving child it is beautiful uh i think it is a young adult book or a kid's book i don't have kids i don't know i thought it was wonderful the art of taxidermy by cheryl by sharon and this book was gifted to me and that was the art of taxidermy by sharon Kerno. now my final book so last time i talked about i was reading a couple of books three books from the miles franklin long list this is the rain heron by robbie arnett holy cow i don't know what to say in this book the horror the horror but not as a horror in the traditional sense or is it this is not like any other sort of australian book that i've read maybe so we are in some country that has you know been taken over by a coup so there's this really weird altered state and fear everyone's kind of living in fear and living in these landscapes and in in that you know there's a woman she's a hermit up in a mountain and then you've got somebody who you know they, they farm uh ink and you've got soldiers taken over the the countryside and then there's this bird who is a rain heron very strange very compact there was i don't want to give any plot spoilers but there was some sections you know i'm a pretty squeamish person there was some sections where i was like yeah i can't read that i have to go back to this so this was written in the third person it's fiction this non-fiction book the art of taxidermy was written in first person from the viewpoint of a young child well, you can't be an old child can you maybe she was about 10 to 12 years of age and of course uh veronica gory's memoir is written in the first person as a grown woman in reflection three pretty fantastic australian books in end that is your 30 books for this time around love to know if you have read any of these books comment below please like share subscribe i've got an email list coming out soon so uh you can get updates every time i post a new video happy reading and i'll see you next time